All right. So in our last set of examples for section P5, we're on page 49 looking at problem 30 where we're going to start out division. So minus 1 divided by 1 plus i. Now, with division, there's a long nasty formula you can use, or you can start by saying, well, if there's an i in the denominator, then I need to take its conjugate, change the sign on i, so instead of being 1 plus i, it's 1 minus i, and multiply top and bottom by this conjugate. So in this case, that means multiply top and bottom by 1 minus i. So in the denominator, we're going to have to FOIL or distribute everything out. But in the numerator, it's a very simple distribution. Negative 1 times 1 is minus 1. Minus 1 times minus i is a plus i. And then the denominator is the complicated one. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times minus i is minus i. i times 1 is i. So we write down plus i. i times minus i is minus i squared. And not much we can do up top. Minus 1 and i are not like terms, just like minus 1 and x are not like terms. You can't combine them into one thing. So we have to leave it as it is. But in the denominator, minus i and plus i can cancel. And we've got a shorter expression, or a more familiar expression, rather, for i squared. i squared is minus 1. So this is minus 1 plus i on top. On bottom, we have 1 plus 1. Well, that's minus 1 plus i on top, as usual, and 2 in the denominator. Now, I'm fine with this answer. There's nothing wrong, you know, leaving your answer in homework or on exams like this. But if you're trying to check your answer in the back of the book, they're going to distribute the over 2 to the minus 1 and to the i, to both terms up top here. So we have minus 1 over 2 plus i over 2, and i over 2 is just i times a half. i over 2 is just a half of i. So this is what the book is going to have, but this you know, what on the left is perfectly acceptable. Actually, both are perfectly acceptable. It's just this is what the book is going to present. All right. Let's do the one remaining example of division of complex numbers that the book offers us in the uh, problem set. We're looking at 2 plus square root of minus 4 divided by 1 plus i. Again, we got this weird square root of a negative, but with complex numbers, we can handle that. So I'm going to do that first before I worry about any division or any conjugates, before I start this whole process up. Let's deal with the square root of minus 4. Minus 4 is just minus 1 times 4. So square root of minus 4 is the square root of minus 1 times the square root of 4. And I have a new way of writing square root of minus 1 now. That's i. And square root of 4 is just 2. Now I can already tell based on this the answer we're going to get is 2 and you can see that if you think about factoring a 2 out of the numerator here. But because I'm trying to demonstrate division by complex numbers I'm going to pretend I don't see that and use the standard method 
that I have to use for an arbitrary uh, complex number division problem. So what I have to do arbitrarily is basically the same thing I did here. If I have an i in the denominator, that's the same thing as having a square root in the denominator. So I have to find the conjugate, change the sign on in front of i, so it goes from a plus to a minus, and multiply top and bottom, the top and bottom of my fraction here, with 1 minus i, the conjugate. So I get the conjugate, multiply top and bottom by the conjugate, and then the next step is distribute, or FOIL, if you will. So, 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times minus i is minus 2i. That's it for 2. 2i times 1 is plus 2i. 2i times minus i is minus 2i squared. And then we're dividing everything by 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times minus i is minus i. i times 1 is i, or plus i. And i times minus i is a minus i squared. So as usual, we can't do anything with the first number on top or on bottom, so we leave it there for now. In this case, the middle two terms of both the numerator and the denominator cancel. So I just have the first and last terms for both the numerator and the denominator. And i squared as we've been drilling this whole time, is minus 1. So we ended up with a problem with i's in it, you know, if you look at this, rather than this kind of unsimplified form where they had made us work uh, a little bit before we got to the division. We went from a problem with eyes in it, no more eyes in sight. 2 minus 2 times a minus 1 is a plus 2. Minus a minus 1 is plus 1. That's 4 over 2, which is 2. And that. That is all there is to it.